that the British is afraid are afraid of. I want to acknowledge all of you. Umuchi neke. Acho mka. Umfa fa gini ruwa kukwa mkuki doku fa fa nga nge 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 in my normal broker, sometimes I don't like to, you know, look on names and mention names and acknowledge people because I am, you know, focused. But on today's program, I'm going to acknowledge as many people that share this program. Because the message I want to toss out this night, the message I want to push out this night is a message that will shock some people and is going to transform some people's sense of reasoning. But some people will be shocked. Why is this man speaking to us this way? Mazi Ameka Peter, welcome to the program. Please, anywhere you're watching me from the country where you're residing, except those in Biafra land, you can tell me you are watching from Italy, watching from America, watching from, you know, from Germany, from Spain, Switzerland, anywhere at all you're watching from. I want to acknowledge you. Mwa da punau, vina apunau, mwa yoma. You are welcome to the program. I see the heart. Ebalomong TV, you are always on time, and I see you sharing my program. As always, it's not my program; it's our program. There is a mistake I've been doing for a very long time, but I want to stop it tonight. I want to correct that mistake. This program is not my program; it is our program. This platform is not my platform; it is our platform. So sometimes when I say my program, my platform, please forgive me, pardon me, because I am managing it. But believe you me, this program is for us, it's for you, it's for me, it's for all of us. That is why whenever I want to speak to you people, I pay, I give maximum respect to those that respect is due to. And that is why I would like to appreciate so many of you. Ogwike Anselm, you are also watching. Abuchi Pascal, live and direct from UAE. That is what you said. If I you chuku, you are welcome to the program. Chinyere, Elizabeth, Ezeji, Ndewo, Oga Dregna Mma, Chuku Udi, Jibuo, Abuchi Pascal, Namadu Karakare, Manangana Apo, as many as I can. Biko, Maka Mazi nam de kanuna ano ho. Na achi ayi. De kakose ade na mbo. Uwa. Odo tutifu nu kwe selema. Maka ebo ono. There are many things you need to know about the absence of mazi nam de kanu. I will break it down. I will touch varieties of things. And I will break them down. Ike chuku nwa chuku. Mwa. You are welcome to the program. God will bless each and every one of you. When you when you are chatting, writing, sending your love and your like, it makes the program to move forward. Because Facebook will assume that what I am saying is welcomed by the people I'm speaking to. That is why you have to share it also. You need to share this. Dear friends, honestly, I... I don't like to say certain things at times, but when I look to the thinking faculty of our people, the way our people reason, it forced me to say certain things. Maybe they can receive little sense and change. And before I go on, I want to thank Mazichi Kedozim for the beautiful broadcast he gave to us. We all listened and we understood Everything you've said. In the absence of Mazin Namdekano, Mazichi Kedosium is leading this struggle from the Directorate of State as the head. 
Therefore, I respect the office of the DOS and every member therein. Things that you need to know about the absence of Mazen Namdekano is very, very important. But above all, Biafra restoration is pivotal. I will open my line on time today to take more calls because I noticed that many people are complaining that I don't answer their calls. I don't select calls. I don't. Therefore, I would like to give many people as many as possible opportunity today. Let us discuss. But before we discuss, let me break the Ako Ibo Sube. Many times I come online to tell you about things you don't know that, has, that is happening on the ground in this struggle. Many times some of you doubt it. Many times some of you believe it. But at the end of the day, every information I'm bringing out used to play Pierre before the war. The reason why you are not seeing me constantly on Facebook talking there now and then is not only because of my location or the resources to bring program to you, but also because I think it is important that it is necessary that once I have something important to say, I come out and say it. I'm not saying, I'm not coming online 247 to talk or to blog people's broadcasts, whatever, you know, to make myself relevant or to make money because I'm not making money from it. Before I came online, I posted something because I visited my email as in a hobby after television at, at, um, at, at um, gmail.com. That is my official email. I visited it. <laughs> and I saw a lot and a lot and a lot of uh, messages that came in. People trying to woo me. I have almost 70 different messages. I just speak only about two of, of them and posted it. I posted it for a reason. And it is connected, interwoven with the topic I want to discuss this night because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano. Some people have, you know, think that they have arrived and they begin to do whatever they want, anyhow they want it. Some of those messages that I, put, I shared on my platform, you can check as in the Hobby Affair Television, you're going to see it there. You can check Prince Darlington Facebook page, Facebook account, you're going to see it there. Some companies and some hackers have been writing me, begging to be posting adverts on this platform. Some were worrying me with about $7,000 weekly. That they will pay me $7,000 weekly. Some say $1,600 per advert weekly. <laughs> Some say $1,100. Different, different companies, different, different price. Some say $1,800. I copied it verbatim the way they, they wrote to me. Both those that in, their English is clear and those that their English is not clear. I posted them. The reason why I picked those few is for you people to know what we are fighting for not for money making. I posted it for some of you to read, to understand that it's not everybody that you can use money to deceive because I know that some of these people who are telling me $7,000 per week they will pay me came to bring this, this particular platform down. Some of them are real and some of them are fake. Some are hackers. So when they want to send you a video or a, a, or, or, uh, uh, um, or whatever advert they want you to play or uh, to post on your platform, most of the times they encrypt it with uh, virus. They have tried so many times to bring my platform down. 
they could not. And they came in this form, begging to pay me to advertise on this platform. I want to, I want to let them know that my platform is not for advert placement. I need money, yes, but I need my freedom first before money. But I tell you, since the absence of Mazen Namdekano, a lot of things changed. And there are things you are going to learn from this program after I am done speaking to you. You will learn not less than four or five things. Because when I speak, I open my line, their friends will respond. I don't speak to you and close my, my program. I don't talk and close. I open my platform for other people to make their own contribution because this platform belongs to all of us, not just my platform, our platform. So when you see somebody like Mazo Elize became hitting his heart, saying it the way it is, is because I am not money induced. I am not monetary induced by anybody. Nobody can, you know, use money to bring me down. I have seen money. I have made money. I have touched money. But right now, it is my freedom that is more important to me than whatever amount they want to they want to pay me. If I'm if I open them going up, you're going to go longer through it. Once I saw that email of $7,000 per week, you know what $7,000 is? I would jump to respond to them to say, please, I'm interested. You're yeah, welcome to the program, my brother. Thank you. I would jump into it to say, okay, I'm interested. Maybe at the end of the day, before you know it, this platform will be gone. But because I am not much interested in money but in the freedom of our people serving you under this platform that is why i reject them reject their plat reject their 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 price tag what is seven thousand dollar what is one thousand eight hundred dollar what is one thousand six hundred dollar weekly to compare with what i am fighting for what a car a good dog a dragon on monday you are also formidable. I can see your handwork always on time. So my brothers and my sisters, since the absence of Mazen Namdekano, I have learned a lot and I want to share with you guys. And I want you also to call to share what you have learned as well. And those of them that have not learned anything at all should listen to learn because you must learn something from this platform as it is. My sister, God's will, Ebosaya, welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. Dear friends, you see, Mazin Nam Kanano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, is not an ordinary human being. He is not an ordinary human being. If you have not spent time with him, you will not understand. When you are talking to Mazen Namdekan one on one, you are speaking to a different human being. The moment Mazen Namdekan goes behind the microphone, he is another human being entirely. That is why people who doesn't know this man, we are calling him different names, small boy. They were calling him small boy, but today the small boy is giving the whole country a reason to rethink. Mazekwe, welcome to the program also. Mazen Namdekano is not normal human being like you and me. No. His presence covers a lot. Mazen Nandikano's presence covers a lot in this, in this movement. Since his absence, if you, can, if you have not learned anything or see something 
that his present cover, then you are not ready to fight for Biafra restoration. You should better go and sit down somewhere and be watching. Because of his presence, there are so many abnormalities that you, could, you couldn't see or hear. So many treacherous attitude, character, character assassination, backstabbing, embezzlement, name them. His presence covers all these things. We couldn't see it. And it was been, all these things have been managed on the ground by the leadership, making sure that they put everything the way it should be. That is why I don't take it easy to, with anybody that want to use the name of DOS, ESA. Biafra, Amazon, Nam I don't, I don't play, I don't joke with these names. If you want to play with them, I come after you. Because of the absence of Mazen Nam you people have is able to see some idiots, some thieves, some criminals among us that we were celebrating before. <laughs> So many of you, we are celebrating so most of those idiots in the past. Before you see me talk about somebody, praise that person, celebrate that person. <laughs> that person deserves it a million times. That is why you will not see me post something on my platform and delete it. I will not put something on my platform and delete it. Some people will make a video because they are not consistent. They are not balanced. They are not mentally balanced. They are not mentally stable. They don't handle their emotions. They speak anyhow. Unguarded, un, un, they use unguarded statements to talk just so that people will listen to them. So when they have noticed that they have made a lot of mistakes through their speeches, they will later come back and apologize, then go and delete what they have posted. Go to my platform. I have never deleted anything I posted on my platform. I am not perfect. I don't know it all. But I am telling you things that are happening because of the absence of Mazen Namdekanu. And as I'm saying it, some of you that have found out can put it on writing here that you have seen such things happening. The reason why I am speaking this way this night to us is because after listening to Mazichi Kedozium speech, after listening to Mazichina Sangoru speech last time, I came to draw conclusion that I need to, you know, highlight some things that they said. I need to digress a little bit. Then I need to educate some people that have been misled because of the absence of Mazen Namdekanu. I can beat my chest to tell the world that the only video I have deleted in this struggle, since I started broadcasting on Facebook, was a video which Mazen Namdekanu personally asked me to delete. And that video was a video that, that was preparing my speed to dismantle Nenyanya, to dismantle the, the liaison office in America, to dismantle the thieves in Germany, dismantle the, the, the criminals in the uh, UK. That particular program was, was kind of, you know, app, you know a, a appetizer. When you, when you want to eat a, 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 a good food, you have to eat some, for some vegetables. It will work as appetizer. It will not open your stomach. Then you will be very, very hungry. You waste one knee. 
That was the only program that Mazin Namdekanu asked me to delete. So when I tell you that the absence of Mazin Namdekanu have unveiled a whole lot, have exposed a whole lot, you will bear me witness. Because as it stands now, that particular program that Mazin Namdekanu has asked me to delete, I wish, I wish I saved it somewhere. As I'm doing this program now, I would have played it for you to listen to me. What I was saying. Why Mazinan Khan was outside. And what has happened at this point in time. But because I am down to earth. When you talk about obedience, I have it A1. When you talk of stubbornness, I have it A1. When you talk of trust, I have it A1. When you talk of respect, I have it A1. The only thing I don't have a one as a human being is the ability to hide truth just to please someone. But there are people that have it a one. They would lie, they will lie to lie to lie to lie to you all over again just to make you happy. Me, I don't do that. I tell you the truth. The reason why I am trying to use this to build my, my preamble is because by the time I am done with the things I'm going to say this night, some of you will bow your heads in shame. Some of you that are watching this program, you will bow your heads in shame. How come this guy is speaking this way? Does he mean that he's talking to me? If you know anywhere my speech this night is affecting you negatively, then correct yourself. Put yourself in a chronological order. If you are receiving it positively, then increase the velocity of your positive strength towards making Biafra restoration a success. So that program that I deleted, because Mars asked me to, de to delete them, is the program I used to prepare to deal with the enemies, the criminals. When I say Germany, America, UK, Germany, America, UK. Germany, America, UK. That program was to, you know, clear the road before I strike. But Mars asked me to delete it. That was the program that I did after which Casey Lezebilo, aka Kano Takano, called me as the first person and asked me, why did you make such program? I hope you, are, you don't want to call my name. I hope you are not going to mention my name. I don't want anybody that will call my name because all the money that I have, that I have been used in this struggle is uh, Mazi asked me to use it to do this, to do that. I begin to confess when I have not spoken. After that program, the next person that called me as early as possible was the one you call Uwefi in America. Why did you make such program? Why did you... I haven't mentioned names. Therefore, there are things that the absence of Mazen Nandikano have exposed, have revealed. And I will touch it as, as it holds. A wife came to me, asking me, why are you saying this? Why are you doing this? You don't have to. I asked him, are you part and parcel of those that are eating IPOB money in America? He said, no. Are you among those that are embezzling our money? He said, no. Are you, uh, then why are you worried about the program that I say, that I made and quoted myself that I am going to expose people, America, Germany, and the UK? Why? That was the only program that, Mazen, that I deleted on my platform. But people will do program today. Tomorrow they will delete. People will do program tomorrow. Next tomorrow they will delete. You know why? Because they don't have content. They say what people ask them to say. They do what people ask them to do. So when they found out that they have been misled, they will now go and delete. But me, what I tell you is what I know that is 100% sure, and I leave the program there for generations to come because internet never, never forgets. In case you don't know, 
everything I am saying on this platform, there are people that are recording every of my video, keeping them. Even if I delete, they still have it. So those people that used to talk from both sides of their mouth, lie from here and there, make some gra, -gra on on Facebook. After that, they will still go and delete it. In their mind, in their little mind, they believe that I've deleted it. There are people that are keeping records. There are people that, as I'm talking right now, somebody is recording this video right now with his, his own phone, right now to the heart. Somebody is recording it. And that, so many of you that are recording it, know yourself. So after this program, if I just drop it the next minute, I delete it. Everything I said is already recorded. So why delete it? That is why you have to guard your statement in this struggle. I'm going to touch so many things, but I will, do, I will make sure that I make them brief. Now, when Mazen Namekanu was outside, there were a lot of things happening in this struggle. But because of his presence, he was managing them with wisdom, giving a lot of people, long group, big opportunity to repent and change their ways. A lot of them. Coordinators, finance officers, Family members, there are thousands of people that Master Nandekano gave too much opportunity to change. But they couldn't change. Instead, they hide their attitude, they pretend like they have changed. Immediately, Master Nandekano had a problem. Ah, everybody jumped out from their shell. That is why you see somebody coming out to be telling, to be asking you, why would you get those? remove a coordinator in America or in UK or anywhere. Why? Who gave him the order to do so? And the person forgetting that Masichi Gedosium happened to be the head of the Rectorate of State, that his office is the office that the, the, the office that managed the movement. Which Mazen Namdekanu is a member of that organization. They forget that Masichi Gedosium has the power of incumbency to remove, to change anybody. So, but because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano, immediately Mazichike doesn't want to exhibit his authority, which was which was uh, 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 invested on him by Mazen Namdekano. They will jump up, begin to show themselves because it is Chike Dozim. They knew that Mazen Namdekano is not outside. So they believe that Mazen Namdekano, <laughs> as long as it's not outside, Chike Dozim will not tell me what to do. That is why one stupid boy called Tari Nemi, that the main uh, former African rep in this struggle is dancing Sklewu right now in the, in the market square. If you go to his wall, you see how he's dancing Skelewu. I'm not responding to him, but sometimes I can just throw drop word for him. So he will listen. If you want, he can change and get sense. I have never seen any genuine member of this movement that is, you know, discharged of his position. Without coming back to fight. I have seen, I'm sorry. I have seen few, few, just only but few, to my own knowledge. The first person is Mazi Michael Iranya, the former national coordinator of IPOB in Italy. I respect you, sir, the elder state man. If you are watching this program, I respect you, and I move my cap for you, sir. Mazi Michael Iranya was the first coordinator in this movement that Mazi Namikano called and said, Sir, you are going to leave that your office, that your coordinatorship, let someone else take over. You have tried. You started from Ike Chukwenyagu regime to Omiomio regime. Now it is time for you to rest. Let someone else take over. This man quietly, gently, handed over every IPOB property under his care to the next person that was appointed as the national coordinator of Italy. It is on record. Some of you do not know this man. But if you go on Facebook and type Michael Urania, you will see him. 
Anybody that sees Michael Rirania anywhere in Italy, please buy him one bottle of beer in my name. He is a true leader that led by example. You will hear Mazichi Kedosiem in his last broadcast calling names of some people in Sorena that should hand over the property of ESN and IP will be back to them. Why will you allow, why will you wait for head of the Rectorate of State to announce your name on, on, on radio before you hand over the properties of IPOB and ESN that is with you? Is that a, for, uh, is that a personal property? No. <laughs> These are part and parcel of that which I am telling you today. These are reason why you must listen and share this program because so many of you are very, very stupid. So many of you that answers coordinators are very, very stupid. Mad people everywhere. You don't know that the office of Masichi Kedosim, the presence of Masichi Kedosim, his speech, his signature, his stamp, is representing Masin Namdekan. You don't know? Why will you wait for your name to be announced before you hand over the property that belongs to a whole movement that is talking about the, the, the restoration of a nation? Is, is that a personal problem, a property? Are you not afraid? You go out and talk it. You go out and talk it. This is a property. You know, you are not afraid. You go out and talk it. All these things are happening because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano. And you think you can, you know, play with the office of Directorate of State? Let me tell you people something. When I was Given a portfolio to handle in this struggle by Mazin Namdekano as the first auditor of this movement. The first auditor in this movement. You see, one day, if you don't want to write the history for me, I will write it for myself. I'll write it by myself. It was a job, tedious one to do. A very tedious job. A job that exposes that are that are that are extorting our money. It's not everybody can take it, and it's not everybody can do it. But I did it to the best of my knowledge, and Mazi gave me thumb up. Something happened. Do you know that each time I am going to any state to coordinate and do my job? The kind of respect they accorded to me is equivalent to the respect they, they used to accord to Mazin Namdekano. Go and ask family members in Iguacha. The day I came to Iguacha, come and see crowd. Over 500 people were there waiting for the arrival of my of President Lente. Over 500 people. 500, I repeat. Over 500 people were there. What is 500 people? They are up to 1,000. Because Madu Karirakari. And when I entered the stage, everybody stood up. Somebody said I should clean my camera. I don't know if there is anything wrong with my camera. Please, I want other people to confirm if my camera needs to be cleaned. I don't know. Someone has to confirm, please, to me, before I do something wrong here. Somebody says I should clean my camera. Collins, Chuku Bunna, say I should clean my camera. Or my camera, what is it? Camera glass. Check if my camera is blur. If it's not clear, please let me know. Because as I'm seeing myself here, it is fine. My camera is fine. Thank you very much. The reason why I'm saying this is because whatever I tell you on this platform is what I have witnessed. 90% of them is what I have witnessed. Everybody say it's clear. Thank you for the information. Those of my of our family in Ugocha, 
we attest to what I'm saying. The moment I walked into the congregation of Umu Chineke to do my job, everybody stood up. They stood up. I look around. I see elder people. I see people that senior me with over 30, 40, 50 years. I see fathers. I see mothers. That's, that ovation, that starting ovation was not for me. It was for Mazen Nam It didn't got into my head. It did not got into my head. I, I hope you people understand what I'm saying. Because when I, whenever I listen to Masi Chikedosim announcing them of coordinators that refuse to hand over properties of my of, uh, of IPOB back to IPOB, I ask myself, what kind of people are these? Is it because of Masi Nandekano is not with us right now? That some of you are now behaving like animals. Everybody stood up. I have to address them and beg them to sit down. Before they got seated, then I addressed them and did my job and left. The same thing, the same thing happened the day I went to Enugu. The same thing happened to the, uh, the day I went to Imo. The same day I went to uh, 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 Delta. The same thing happened. Even in Aba, Aba was marvelous. I have been to even to the north, Kanu. Abuja, you know, so many places. And each time I comes in, everybody will respect me. Not, not that I respect it, not that I respect is due to, to be given to me, but to the man who sent me. I will not do tremosia. Only I can respect if I abroad more. Whenever you see me fighting to you know defend this movement the way I do. I am doing it because it is worth doing. And so many of you have showcased your stupidity. Your myopicness, or should I say myopic mindedness. Your evil, your evil, evil sense of reasoning is being displayed in the absence of Mazen Namikan because no longer ever. I can bet every one of you that. If I, if I am asked to go to any family meeting in Biafra land today and they gather because the Mazen, because Mazen Nandekanu is not outside, that, that respect they used to give to me then when Mazen Nandekanu was outside, they may not give it to me again. They may not. That respect didn't belong to me. It's not, it's not mine. But I didn't allow it to get into my head because I know whom they are giving that honor and respect to. What happened to our people now that when Mazichike Dozium remove you as a coordinator, you cannot coordinate yourself, hand over the properties to the next person that took over from you and see it that you are doing it for the goodness of this movement. Instead, Owe go IPOB they're gonna keep a cheer, Owe property IPOB they're gonna keep a cheer, everything that belongs to IPOB that is under your care, you will hold them tight because you think Mazanandekan is not outside. Sometimes when I'm talking, some people are envy and they are jealous. Why is this guy talking like this? Some people say because you are privileged to have met with Mazen Namdekan. Shut up. I started with Mazen Namdekan when you are still dancing Skelewu somewhere. When so many of you were are in, insulting him, calling him chief, that is when I was with him. For over 10 years, I've been with him. For over 10 years, I've been with Mazi. Do you people know that with the respect, with the honor, with the benefit of, re of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of whatever that people give to me whenever I go to represent Mazi anywhere? Even the day I went to, 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 uh, uh, to worry, Chineke Neko Nihojo, come and see respect. People use convoy, 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 like 20 or 15 cars. I be in the middle, there will be, there will be, and I will pop, 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 and I pull those up. Or the command sent down the camera. You better TV carried it. You better TV carries, he carried it. My presence in in worry. But as you hit the morning, it didn't enter my head. Do you know that after when Mazen and can notice that that job I was doing was actually exposing me to a lot of dangers, which Kukukikabiama himself alone. 
did not allow to happen to me. The day he took off that particular position from me, I thanked him. I went somewhere, sat for like three hours, took my two, because I can't take more than two bottles of beer in 24 hours. Only two bottles. Some people in the no kwa no kai kai, say you I don't do that shit. I talk to you with my clear eyes. When I don't even drink anything, one bottle of beer is when I am more articulated than when I take that one bottle that I used to drink. I went and took my drink. I drank and I was happy. I celebrated it. Because Times with that number have they planned the downfall of Mazab Ali Zichu became whenever I visit family meeting. Times with that number they failed. It because now come the other. I am doing everything I'm doing with my clean heart. I'm not praising myself, only to go Kabiama in heaven that knows the truth. And Mazen Namdekani himself knows the truth. I celebrated when Mazinan can collected, removed that particular body because it was a body to me, but I cannot reject it because it has to do with the freedom of me, my children, and that of my people, and gave it to Mwada Ibe Gif Tamarachi. People were writing, congratulations, Ibe Gif Tamarachi, congratulations, Ibe Gif Tamarachi, congratulations. You are congratulating somebody that the job that is being given to her is even more tedious than any coordinating job but she was happy you know but when then begin to <laughs> begin to <laughs> when then they begin to attack her when thieves in the struggle begin to tackle her <laughs> because the worst enemy you ever have in this life is that enemy from the inside why i am trying to break all these things down is because so many of you call, that call yourself coordinators you are there because you thought that if Biafra come, you will be made a governor of one state, or you will be made a prime minister, or you will be made a, 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 a what they call it, a finance minister, whatever. If you are fighting for Biafra restoration, you know, with truth and honesty, without adding anything to it, once your position is being asked for, is, is being taken from you, given to someone else, you will support that person that it was given to. But once you are instilled into the struggle because of one or two things, one or two reasons, once they take it away from you, you begin to fight. Go and look at George Oni Beribi. He gossip, 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 gossip. He can wear Zoike. Go and look at Iranya. He gossip, 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 gossip. He can wear Zoike. Go and look at Omemio. He can't wear Nyago. He gossip Mado. Rita Nibogo. Go and look at the current, the, the last uh, African red. He's still gossiping. I give him more two months. He will get tired. More two months. The one you caught an entire enemy, we, he will not gossip anymore because he will not have anything to gossip about. These are the people that came into the struggle because of their selfish interest. So once that position, they, are, they think they are handling that, elevate them, that make them to be rising their shoulder is taken away from them, they strike. And go and check. When I had issues with the media department of this movement. When I was hitting it hard to destroy Nenyanya evil plan with Kanon Takano, Kisilese Biro, and all his their cohorts, the moment my name was mentioned, that I'm being suspended for 90 days, which is three months. Some people jump up, begin to clap. They begin, they're happy. Hey, 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 yes, they have suspended him. <laughs> it's good they have suspended him. An <laughs> idiot like him. <laughs> this and that. They begin to insult themselves, not me. They begin to insult themselves. Do you know why they are happy? They are happy because they believe that once I am being suspended, 
they will be able, they will, they will continue to carry out their evil plans in the struggle. Therefore, making it more difficult, even for the for the for the movement to to go to the right direction, because that man that used to expose them is now suspended. So for that, he will not talk again. This was their plan. That man that used to expose them and used to attack them is now suspended. I know how many people that Nenyanya contacted. I know how many people she contacted, talking to, pressing that my name should be announced and that I should be expelled from IPUB. <laughs> but you know what? I did not give up in broadcasting. I did not give up in speaking to Biafrans. I did not give up in continuing what I was doing. I keep defending the leadership. I keep fighting against the enemies. I keep, you know, propagating the restoration of Biafra. Even that is when I increased the velocity of whatever I was doing there. I used myself as a living example. Until Mazen Kanu said, I cancel that particular um, suspension. Do you know why? Now let me expose one or two things to you guys today. The reason why Mazen Namdekanu suspended that my, lifted that my suspension is what some of you do not know. But I will tell you, Mazen Namdekanu already knew because before you suspend me, consultation was made. He must have heard that it is because I was talking about the criminal, Nenianya and Kanon Takano. And I must tell you, if Mazen come out, he's going to listen to this program. Mazen already knew that I was on the right path. The only misunderstanding part of the whole issue was because the leadership thought that I was doing it at the wrong time. But to me, that time was the best time, the best target for me to do it. Because if you have only but one bed bug in your house, you did not you do not kill you did not kill that bed bug. Before that bed bug get pregnancy and give birth. Come back to that your house in the next one month. Every part of your house will be bed will filled up with bed bug and you cannot control it anymore. It will take you a long period of time to kill all those bed bugs. That is exactly what I was doing then. But Mazen Nandikami knew that. The issue of Nenyanya is already gotten him here. And he was managing it for a very long time. That is why I made a program and remind the Directorate of State that this is the right time to strike. Do away with all the enemies. Do away with all the thieves. Do away with all the people that have been causing a lot of damage in this struggle in the presence of Mazen Namdekanu. Deal with them. Because Mazen Namdekanu is too compassionate that some people, when they come to him and cry and beg him, Mazi, this and that, Mazi will look at them and begin to, you know, tamper justice with mercy. But that will not help us to get to where we are going to. Instead, it is only when you remove such people, cut them off. If they are bed bug, kill them instantly. Kill that bed bug before it ash. Chin chi chi ya kwa ne yi like 300. Chin chi. On a broom like 300. Bed bro. Now, because of the absence of this same man, Mazen Nam de Kano, all the thieves that were waiting for the opportunity to stay in the finances, they came out, begin to bribe people. If I had not raised alarm about these thieves, believe you me, IPOB will be walking like Jackie and feeling like a rat. 
people will be struggling under the sun, under the winter, under the rain, everywhere across the globe, working their ass off, getting money, sending to IPOB finance, and the Kinsley's Bureau and the Nen Nianya with their cohort will be using the money to buy properties, enjoy their life, buy big cars, rent houses, change their, 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 their wardrobe. Yes, that is the truth. So because of the absence of Mazin Nam Dekano, all these things were coming out. And there is a man who saw it all, who began to cry, who began to shout, who began to talk about it until today that all of you have only seen it with your two eyes, kuro kuro. but why you people haven't seen it? I saw it while I was seated. Go to Uguacha. There are people, our people that were arrested in Uguacha and sent to prison. The so-called lawyers, some of the people you call your lawyers that you are celebrating every day, every night, wanted to use those people to cut there. They want to collect about between 10 to 12 million from IPOB coffers in the name of going to release people in the prison. I raised alarm about it. I raised alarm. Because of the absence of Mazen Namdekanu. Because IPOB don't pay any media to carry our news. Apart from the lawyers that are working for IPOB, IPOB don't pay, don't bribe any judge because our case is a crystal clear case. It's a case of win-win. In the constitution of Nigeria, it is enshrined that freedom, uh, 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 right of indigenous people is there. You can ask for your self, right for self-determination. So when they take us to court, we don't pay or bribe any lawyer or any judge. What we do is to go into that their constitution, open the chapter, show them this is, I'm, I'm talking about our lawyers who are working assiduously to, you know, make sure that our people are also, are always out of the, the cage. Make, make a case with them, say these people have committed no crime. In your constitution, it says we have right for self-determination. Then they will let them go free. We know they pay. But some people you call lawyers wanted to cut deal from Uguacha. Between 10 to 12 million naira is what they wanted to steal from IPOB pocket. And some of you will be asking, how are you always getting all this information? Don't ask me. <laughs> Because of the absence of Mazin Nam the Kano, some people that call themselves your lawyer have soiled their hands. Collecting money from individuals, from notable people, Thinking that we don't know, all in the name of helping Mazen Nam the Kano case. Family members of Mazen Nam the Kano begin to go from one governor to another governor, bringing them to Abuja. Look at Hope, who's the man that killed the consul. Look at Hope, who's the man that bombed the, the bomb, 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 oh, 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 Look at Hope, who's the man that bomb, uh, 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 that destroyed every building inside Ikoso's house. Hope Uzodima that have killed millions of our people. In Olu. A brother of Masin Nam Kano, known as Fine Boy, took him to Abuja. And wanted him to go and visit Masin Nam Kano. But I trust the lion himself. The moment he heard that his Hope Uzodima, he rejected seeing him. He said, I don't want to see him. I forbid for you to bring this man here. Is it because I am not coming online to tell you people everything that I know? 
He said, I don't want to see him. They begin to cut, they begin to collect money from left, right, and center. Because of the absence of Mazen Namdekani. You think if Mazen Namdekani is outside, they can do that rubbish. They don't burn you well. Amuro Gofma. Oh, yeah, be fine. If one has on a no on a mukujia, go for a very ugo. When the lion has fracture on his leg, you will see antelope, you will see deer <laughs> coming to ask him for the money he was owing him. <laughs> but I'm here. Some people are calling themselves broadcasters. Why what they do, what they do when they come online is to discuss IPOB family members. What they are doing in their family meeting Things that the zoo doesn't know, they will be telling them. And they call themselves broadcasters. They are fighting for Biafra. Today, fighting for Biafra. Tomorrow, fighting for politicians. Because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano. Looking for content to grow pages and make money. You people have seen my post this night. The amount of money that they are asking me to take. Whether they mean it, whether they want to hack my account, but at least for me to reject all of them alone is enough to tell you that I can, I'm unbribable, you cannot bribe me. You cannot. Some of you may think that I'm joking or that I'm lying or that I, what I'm saying is not true. Let me just read one out of one or two out of them. This company wrote me say, we have visited your Facebook page. It is perfect for advertisement. Here, we are offering you for paid sponsored advertisement $1,800 per week and all ads will be related to your page. If you are interested, then let us know. That is one, one company that wrote me. <laughs> Another one says paid advertisement we have visited your Facebook verified uh, baggage page. It it is perfect for our advertising for advertising here. We are offering you for paid sponsor. We will pay you for every week two thousand dollars. If you are interested, then let us know for more details. Thank you. Let me read the last just only one. After this, I will not read it now because it's, it's, it's many. <laughs> Let me read the only one. This one says, Hi, we would like to pay you for placing our content on your page. We will pay you per week. $7,000 payment will be made in advance. Our brand are Amazon, Nestle, Nike, Puma, blah, 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 so on and so forth. While I rejected taking all these adverts on my platform, because of the absence of Mazen Nam, some people have turned their platform to something else. If you ask them now, they will say you are envy. It is envy. envy. Why, if it is envy, why is Radio Biafra not accepting adverts? On its platform. If it is envy, why is Biafra Television not accepting anything like adverts? If it is envy, why is all the verified accounts, official accounts, that this movement is using to propagate the message of restoration of our nation, why are they not accepting it? So, because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano, everybody is now or they're doing whatever they want to do. On my own case, I have a job that I'm doing. I have a job that I'm doing in this struggle. So some of you are asking me, what is my job in this struggle? My job is to expose any evil. Once I see it, I will expose you. Kick you by the side. Treat you so that the struggle will be moving on smoothly.
Do you understand what I'm saying? My job is to make sure that any as I show me more new book. I don't want to know who you are. As long as you are an impediment to the restoration of our nation, I will come after you. Not people that we the 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 way I see them, they don't talk to bloggers, no longer broadcasters. Today, a buto a buto ku merit tina page. Tomorrow, a buto ku we are working. But Jesus tina page. Next tomorrow, a buto eke ne Maria to pasene niye. Ane eke ne Maria. Then Maria na wose na biyafra land. Then the can people now watch that eke ne Maria again a speech of your pastors and what have you. Then you know what they go. We know you didn't know who won. You know you told Then people are dying because of the absence of Mazin Namdekano. If Mazin Namdekano is outside, they no born on a well to do that rubbish. Amuru no fuma. Only one broker. He will do one broker. He may not even call your name. He will just say all of you that are call yourself. Media. Some of you that are call yourself media warrior that are using your platform to do this to do that. If you don't stop it, now chineka bawa wako. And the whole supply call yadi. Only one problem is that you blow on that. You know you cannot survive it. We are go asa bakiari. Mazin that you cannot blow on. Mazin that you cannot blow bakiari on. Even the Kebunke police itself, Mazenan can be on Kedebon today. So, because of the absence of Mazenan the Kano, things has seems to be falling apart. And some people even doesn't guard the kind of statement they make when they broadcast. Some people talk as if now them be the Mazenan the Kano themselves. Only Facebook page is what you have. Bro. You only have Facebook page. You only have followers. And those followers you have, some of them are not IPOB members. Some of them are people who came to watch what you are doing to see this Biafra and the we are here. Then they will come and be watching your stupidity, dancing naked in the in the marketplace. Sometimes when you dance too much naked, when people I have won you, ah, you have dancing too much naked, you begin to delete it so that people will not see. But it's already recorded because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano. And I want to put this record straight before I move on. I want to correct one of our brother. I want to put him in a chronological order and I will mention him by name. It's Adma Abura Saga Kanuna Abagwane. You called me on my platform one last time and said, "No process on your own. We are not going to do it. We are not going to do it. We are I will use this opportunity to tell you, I'm not hosting this program specifically for you, but on a manner, Anna people, Anna Arisita. Mazi Obinna, always known as Messi Metusela, when they make his deck." Come closer. I never been in the model. I like what you are doing. I like what you are doing. You are doing a good job. Sensitizing our people and sanitizing the brain of those who doesn't want to be sensitized. Even though you have fought me in the past, you know, Knowingly or knowingly, later you realize that it doesn't work it because I was right, you was wrong. I keep it by the side, I forgive everybody and I'm moving on. You called to tell me that I should advise you whenever you're not doing it right. Now I want you to listen. There was a program you made, I think two, two days ago, I want you to go and listen to that program again from the beginning. And I have sent it to the appropriate quarter to, you know, help talk to you so that you will not repeat such mistake again. 
because I know that if Mazin Nankan is outside, you will not make such comment, knowing that he's watching you. I know that sometimes out of emotion, out of anger, you say things you're not supposed to say. And I want to quote you verbatim. So that next time you correct yourself. It's not attack. It's in Bazirgo and you called. You personally called on my platform. Said, wherever you are not doing it well, I should correct you. In terms of sensitizing our people, educating our people, you know, bringing up facts and figures about who we are and how we should you know, tackle our problems. Going back to our originality, I give you tumble. But you see that statement you made because Azubi Kedonad was given a coordinator in America and you were having issues with him personal. You said, if anybody tells you that Biafra is coming, with this kind of mentality, this kind of having this kind of people as coordinator, that you should not listen to the person because it's not coming. Go and listen to yourself. That is what you said. And you said that individually we may be trying, but collectively we have failed. And I want to tell you that it's wrong. I have not failed. And you too have not failed. DOS have not failed. Media warriors have not failed. All of us, nobody has failed. The only people that failed are those fallen angels that are now attacking the foundation of this movement, which is the red threat of states. They are the only people that have failed. The reason why I say you have not failed, I have not failed, we have not failed as well, is because Thomas Edison, the man that invented the incandescent Bob made a quote and said, after trying over 800 and something times to invent that particular project, he didn't succeed. When he was interviewed, they asked him, how did you feel failing over 860 something times? He said, no, I have not failed once and I have not failed 865 times. It is only my strategies and plans that fail. As a matter of fact, it is a success that I am able to find out 865 times that didn't work. And the moment I abolish that 865 ways, I will be able to find a way that will work. That is to say, I am not going to try what I have done 865 times again, knowing that it will not work. It was a success. And he continued trying. Finally, finally, he got it at the 1,000th time, according to history. Therefore, anytime you want to talk about an individual, face that individual. It's an advice I'm giving to you, my brother. Their program is one of the most interesting programs I, I like to listen to personally. But don't use because of one person, because of one person nonchalant attitude to flow all the efforts of this great movement. Do you know how many people that have joined this struggle and ran away and we are still here? Are you aware about thousands of people that are respecting us, government or organizations internationally. How will you say that for giving Azubike such position that if anybody tell you that Biafra is coming, that you should not believe the person because it's not coming anything? I listened to that. I didn't believe you are the one that said that. And I want you to know that there are eyes that are watching each and every one of us. There are ears that are listening to everything we are saying. And there are hands that are penning down every of our writing, every, every of our activities. I took it as a slip of tongue, but I want to add it to this, my program today, that next time 
you don't use such word because collectively we have been able to get to where we are today. We have been able to achieve a great milestone. Individually, we wouldn't have done anything. So, I am trying to correct that your statement with the impression that we have done greatly collectively. Because you say that collectively we have failed. Go and listen to yourself. I'm not attacking you. I'm not saying what you didn't say. Go back and listen to yourself. Let me show you the program that I'm referring to in case you don't know. I will show you. I will not play your voice here because I am not here to, you know, uh, I'm not here to attack you or to launch attack on you, no. But to correct you, to, to put you in a chronological order. In case of next time, when you are speaking out of anger, don't say things that is going to be <laughs> uh, that is going to be used against you. Brothers and sisters, believe you me, anytime I sit behind this camera, there are things I don't like to say, and there are things I don't like to bring on board. But each time you hear some certain things from me, know you that it is the spirit in me that says them, not me. The spirit in me that says them. I know they write what they talk when they come to broadcast. You know the program I'm talking about, anyways. So showing it or showing it here doesn't make sense. Let me just leave it. So my brothers and my sisters, the absence of Mazen Nam the Kano have cost a lot, and they have exposed a lot. Look at today in Biafra land. There are a group of killers, kidnappers that cause themselves home woman, going from one community to the other, arresting people, kidnapping people, asking people for ransom because of the absence of Mazen Namdekano. If Mazen Namdekano is not in the hand of the enemy, who born you to be doing kidnapping in Biafra land. Go to Oba and ask what happened to the, 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 the court boys in Oba. Go and ask them what happened to them. Only one broadcast on Radio Biafra, only one broadcast, Oba Ederechi. One broadcast alone, Oba was silent. Only one broadcast. Anywhere, Fulani, Fulani has men in Biafra land, only one broadcast, Eba had So today, people like Ekberima have used the absence of Mazen Namdekano to groom a lot of criminals, thieves, giving them name of mom, and they are moving from one community to another, stealing, kidnapping, and taking ransom, all in the name of they are, they are fighting for Biafra. And I want to I want to use this opportunity to speak to them because I know they watch my program. All of them watch my program. All of them. Especially that group that went to Imo State. They watch my program. They listen to my to my voice. They watch it. I knew you guys are watching my program. I knew. My program is top on the list of those you people used to listen to. And I will keep speaking until Mazen Nandekan is free and Biafra restored. Kidnapping your brothers, collecting money, asking for ransom, collecting cash from them is evil. Mazen Nandekan told us that he is in the hand of the enemy to protect our brothers and our sisters, not to kill them. Therefore, anybody that is sending you on that errand, tell the person that you are not going to continue doing that job for him. Let him come down from wherever he is to join and do it himself. 
because Mazen Nandi Akano asked for calmness in Biafra land. He asked for peace to be restored in Biafra land. You that is carrying gun, going from one place to another, pursuing a whole community, chasing after their kings and their, their chiefs, because you are asking for ransom. Going from market to market, collecting money from market women. It's better you go and look for what to do. Because Bush is no longer paying. Bush no they pay again. Those men that Mazen Namdekan have drafted as Eastern Security Network are the only ones in the Bush doing the need for, making sure that our mother goes to farm. They are the only people that have the right to move from one bush to another and they need our support not you criminals that are staying within the houses of their friends taking money kidnapping and snatching cars enough is enough don't even think that i'm afraid of any one of you i am not and never will i be afraid of any one of you I will never be afraid of any one of you. What we are fighting for is the restoration of our nation. Don't criminalize the Afra land and make the enemies come to those communities and begin to shoot and kill innocent people. Because anytime you enter any community and commit all those crimes, kill people, then the next thing they will send their military to come there and destroy, burn houses and kill our people. Do you know how many thousand houses that has been burned in the absence of Mazen Nankan because of your criminality? Do you know? You don't know. Someday you are going to know. I want to say something that is happening in United Kingdom in the absence of Mazen Namdekano. Especially in Liverpool. I want to touch it. And I believe that Mazichike Dozim Mazichike Mazichina Samuru, Mazi Augustine Oforma should look into Liverpool. If he treat us, Otto Harlot have if he treated Liverpool family, they have entered them. I said it in my last broadcast, and I want the leadership to watch and do the needful in Liverpool. They call themselves, I think it's in Liverpool Central or whatever. They have infiltrated the family there. One of them even called Radio Biafra. One of them called Radio Biafra. And the broadcasters did not decode the message the woman passed. But I thank God for intelligent people who listen and take every note of everything that you are doing. Like I said before, there are people, there are men and women that are taking notes of every of your activity in this struggle. If you don't know, know it today. If there's any way I'm not doing it right in this struggle, call me and tell me. I will change. But believe you me, before I speak, I bite my words and my tokum ni weze. Mazen Nam I learned a lot from you because of his absence. There are things that is happening that you don't know. There are people in this struggle that seems to have been forgotten. There are people in this struggle that seems to have been forgotten because of the absence of Mazen Namdekan. The reason why you are still talking about presenting, presenting is because I am speaking to you 247. If I had not been speaking, if I just went on the ground and sit down, begin to face my life, you will forget about me. Nobody will talk about me anymore. There are people that have, that have done great job in this struggle. Some of them are sick. I talk to them one-on-one -on, -one on daily basis. Some of them are sick. 
If I begin to mention names of those that are sick, that need help, you will not believe it. Each time any Biafra send me money, I used to make sure that that money touch goes round to reach those of our brothers and sisters that needed help in Biafra land. Some of them, you are not hearing from them again, not because they ran away, it's because they, they things, even at Hanano, and these are people that Mazi used to, you know, take care of their needs to an extent. Somebody was asking me, where is Somto, where is Somto, where is Somto? Somto is not fine. Somto Okonkwo is not fine. He's not feeling fine. Somto has been sick. I'm in contact with him 247. And I want to thank all the people that have sent message to Somto through me. I want to thank each and every one of you that have sent message. To some to through me. May Chuku Kabema bless each and every one of you. So to himself sent his gratitude and his greeting to you guys. Some to is my hero. My own personal hero. That is who he is. Moses Sabo is my hero. These are people that have faced bullets with me one on one. If you some to Okonko, if Moses Sabo. These two guys are they, they are warriors. And Chuku Okabama will keep them to see Biafra. But because of the absence of Mazi, some of you are not seeing them anymore. And you think they have run away. No. Things are not okay with most of them. You are not hearing about Tosito Keke again. You are not hearing about Chikabosa again. These are men that Mazen Namikan doesn't joke with. These are men that have done great things in this struggle. Something that is not visible to you. You cannot see it. I want you to know that some of our people who live abroad have done greatly in supporting and pushing this movement forward. And God will bless each and every one of you. Those, some of our brothers and our sisters living abroad, they are not here on the ground with us, but they make sure as little as they can, they are supporting this movement, remembering those on the ground. Then let me touch something that some of you would like to know is about the Directorate of State and what they have done so far. In the absence of Mazin Namdekamu, the strength of the OS is made manifest. Unto, to the world. Because when Mazin Namikano was here, some of you are not hearing about what the U.S. have done or what they are doing. But in the absence of Mazin Namikano, I want you to know that there are people whose parents have been killed in this struggle. IPOB, this leadership, is taking care of their children. Are you aware of that? There are some comrades that this leadership is taking care of their needs. Yes, I repeat it again. But you want everything they do to come for them to bring it and post it on Facebook or say it already before for you to know. No, we have passed that stage. Therefore, in this struggle, after thanking God, you thank Mazen Namdekano. 
then the next person you should thank is the Directorate of State, after which you go to those who are supporting the movement, because without finance, we are going nowhere. After thanking those that are supporting us financially, then you thank our legal department, after which you come to the media warriors, which is the frontline defense. Media warrior abroad and then I be a abasaga. You come and be a flat. You see, you come and Merina na wey muki. No, I don't count them as media warriors. Media warriors are those that are consistent, hitting it hard, talking about our restore the restoration of our nation in so many ways. Abroad, you come and be a flat. I'm back at that. You see, you come and be a flat. One day you come and be a flat. Uh, 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 one politician. It's in Nibia, a media warrior. A media warrior should be consistently talking about his freedom. Not today, Mary, tomorrow, Biafra. Next tomorrow, a uh, 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 politician. I know what I'm saying. You may not like it, but it's true. That is why when I look back and see what the Retreat of State have done so far, I thank them. I'm happy because the result of the work of the Retreat of State is going to be made manifest unto you very soon. But for now, you can't see it. You can't come online and say everything the way it is. No. And I talk with it. Great. I think I have taken much time because I still want to listen to their friends. Now, before I open my line, I want to say this. If you are supporting this movement verbally, morally, financially, spiritually, and otherwise, under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Kano, you owe me one thing. You owe me only but one thing. What is that you are owing me? Respect. Obey. The command. From the directorate of state. Respect. Obey. That command. From the directorate of state. Any command from the directorate of state. That is collective. From that office should be obeyed to the letter. I didn't ask you to obey C and C of an individual that is doing it for his own personal interest. No. I repeat myself again because sometimes when I say it, so people say, hey, you are attacking this one, you are attacking this one. Any coordinator or superior officer that is using his own personal interest. He is using C, C and C on you for his own personal interest. Don't obey such person. But if that coordinator or superior officer is bringing something to the table that is of collective, uh, collective interest for the movement, you have to obey it. Especially when it's coming from the office of the US. So you owe me respect to them. It's not easy to face more than one million battles in the absence of Mazen and Kano, and we have defeated all of them from A to Z. More than one million battles. That is why sometimes when I look back also, I see a great people that have sacrificed a lot using their hard earned money to support this movement to make sure that our men in the bushes are not stranded. Bless all of you. And on this note, I want to open my line. If you have anything to say, three minutes is enough. Stop backbiting your brother. Stop pushing him down so that you will climb. 
Stop des destroying what your brother has suffered for because you want to take his position. If you, are, if you are relieved of your position, allow someone else to take over, support that person. Respect the movement. Respect the leadership. That is all I have to say for now. My line is now open. Thank you. For that price. No, no. Which Do so now, my Kenya. Mazi, Nina Monde Kamo. Oh, I'm a dick of Yafra. And so, wouldn't it be Yafra? If you don't want any other, if you don't want any other, if you don't want any other, and the one you put on the moon. I think I have a caller on the line, the first caller. It's on the line. Caller, welcome to this program. I see the hot. Your name and where are you calling from, please? Uh, my name is uh, Marzi Utita. I uh, the hot no cyber program. Marzi, yes. thank you so much. Yeah? Thank, thank you. You are a Thank you for your good work. I you. really appreciate your wisdom. Thank you. Because anytime you go that, uh, you, you know, the way you sound, you know, actually portrays wisdom. And intelligence, and uh, I, I just hope, I just wish that other media warriors can emulate from you. If they can do so, I will appreciate that. Um, you made mention of you pointed out one or two things today, uh, especially the issue of uh, some media warriors. And, uh, like what you said, this uh, what you said now. Um, I just pray that I uh, wish that the uh, media warriors, after they, they might have made their broadcast, they can go back and watch their broadcast and see at least, you know, make a, or a good analysis of what, you know, they dish out to the public and see where they can correct themselves because it looks like some of them are going overboard. The kind of arrogance and the kind of... Uh, you know, mistake they make, you know, is quite uh, appalling. <laughs> For example, one of them said the other day that money is his motivation. You know, when the issue of, uh, you know, uh, monetizing page was being talked about, he was saying also some things, and even went to the sense of saying that money is his motivation, that is from social and social place, that uh, you know, if he's not a millionaire that he has not started, I was I was I was shocked. And somebody that called himself a million warrior, I was actually shocked. And he's dishing out this to the public. What does what does he gonna think that the people watching is gonna you know actually see? Man, the thing the thing shocked me. Understand? And the other guy also was like, you made you a person 
uh, coordinator, this kind of person coordinator. And uh, with this kind of mentality, that, uh, you know, that, that just the way you say that, that, you know, I don't think, I don't know Marzi. I don't know Marzi. And uh, the guys here, the issue, you know, the rate at which, let me just say the way it is. You should forget about this guy. He's taking Dr. Dr. Donald's case personal. He should just calm down, forget about it, and continue propagating his good work. He's actually doing a nice work. But of recent, you know, I no longer get interested in watching his program because he's doing too personal. And we are collectively fighting for Biafra. For God's sake, for crying out loud, Biafra is, is all we want. And that is, should be our watchword. I'm not going to personal fight with anyone. So you should leave the other uh, one for, I uh, will have several hands. You have to, to take control of everything. The other day he made a, another blunder saying that, uh, okay, if you say you're a man, okay, tell me when you're traveling to, to the Afro land and you will see what is happening. Marzi, this is not what you are doing, you understand? This is not, it doesn't make any sense at all. And it's brought, you know, someone that calls himself a, a media warrior, propagating the gospel of power restoration. He doesn't speak any wisdom. He doesn't speak any sense at all. You understand? I just, that's why I said, I just wish and hope they can emulate the kind of wisdom some of you have, somebody like you, someone like Omote, Somewhere like uh, other people that do broadcast. So once we are fighting for each other, we're not fighting a personal fight. And we're not fighting for money. In Jaffa, every everything will be achieved. Here and I told you, the Metadrin will come. And what they go to the Jaffa first. And last year, Mazishin Asamuru has said something, given order, command and code. They are in command and code too. And he has given the order of them. Uh, we should stop, stop, we should stop, stop about religion. And uh, some media warriors still, you know, touching it, you know, somehow. I, I believe that command and control is the mantra. And this is what, what has gotten us so far. And uh, what the Afra comes, the issue of religion in a religion actually will be controlled, will be settled. Nobody should put the the narrative that the ones uh, we don't settle it now that we cannot get the effort. That's that's fallacy. That's stupidity. We're going to get the effort. Okay, please round up, round up, brother. You, you have exceeded five minutes now. You are on six minutes. Round up, please, so that I can answer other. Okay, 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 okay. So, Miles, let me just round up. Okay. So, uh, in summer, I thank you for the good work. I thank all that good media warriors for their good work. And I pray that other media warriors should take it a leap from you guys and, you know, at least make an amendment and start preaching Biafra and stop being arrogant and making unnecessary mistakes. Thank, Thank you, you Mark. Thank, oh, hey, oh, hey, Thank you very much for your contribution. But I want to touch something here. You see, um, my brother that I made mention of his name on this platform, I believe he's a man of wisdom. You understand? what I say, because he calls for it. Uh, if he didn't, if he hadn't called for it, I can only, you know, bring his topic when I see him going the wrong way. Just that it sounds like a slip of tongue and I had to put him in a chronological order. There's no how, you know, we should use this as a topic of discussion because that is not only what I talk about today, but I picked on it to comment. Meanwhile, him himself will understand that that comment wasn't all that okay. That is the truth. I have another caller on the on the on the on the line. Hello. Caller, welcome to the program as the host. Okay, my brother. Good evening. Good evening to you. Keke me. We do it. Eh, we le kuno ndi ndi PC from Dubai. Go ahead, Mas ndi PC. I'm happy um, in a man. I'm watching your program steady. Thank you. I'm very happy in a man. So continue it on. Thank you. Yeah, but I will get in touch with you. I got you there. So you also endure me. So 
go conquer them. That is true. And I get what I am at you. Yes. I'm a money who will fly from the beginning. I'm a money who. And I'm a come here. You will all go be a friend. And do it. But I mean, you should do one. I got into who be a friend. That you need it because I want to. Bluetooth note. I'm not working at work, but I to the yes members. To a premonition the ESM, the main ESM, my and I cause a problem. I name a really in because. It's only person I brought a full born of Biafra. Where can I get someone a I be a day boy, I want to go to go. really Biafra cannot do so. A son of soy cannot listen to this. Bluetooth note. So, only my prayer for you. I across with Jim Pink and Minya. I across you over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every day he won a met at the matter where he had because even with our prayer, we had them here to be today because all their plans to kill him, they didn't know the work because of Onyaki Adocha, Omoya Madi Premier. Yes, sir. So, Andy. My prayer every day, Oga wuna, Oga adendo. Oga apotana akandiro. Ha, nde, yo wuka na owa umu na iti diye na akandiro. And every day, wuka na chuku kiko bioma. Aine epe, ya bobo takuya na akandiro. Yo de la yendo, because dama ha sopa a lot. Ona abone la di silote, he can sopa this man, he sopra. He will be a friend. Yes, this man also of Agronakai to lose almost everything on me. Somebody never anything, even. He have money to build a mansion, he have money to do anything, but he forget it and focus to the breeds in brothers to need to come out for this caliphate. I'm a woman. But people now, I will say, because of no one goes in this year, I will say, and I hear a catcher. That you will reach Cook Cobioma. The men I hear in a year, Bobotala year, and I took off all the good in Dopota, Obuma Pota Bozi, the lion in Dopota. How was the rest? And I believe you can have Chuko Cobima keep with your own. We seek it from the income out. So my brother, your soldier, I'm a money who, and I know the camp fight where don't fight about this struggle. You don't know me, but I know you very well. So only what I'm, I know, I know about somebody who did take coach. I know about she did take coach. Man, I coach you the man because my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to touch something in regards to what our previous caller said. And that thing I want to say is um, about our fellow uh, media warriors. Now that our leader is not here, now that our leader is not here, let some people stop behaving as if, as if they, I don't know how I'm going to say it, as if they are beyond the leadership control. It's not good. Leadership says stop, you stop. Let me answer this call. Caller, welcome to this program as the host. 
Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I will. Uh, I will fail to recognize the. Uh, our Supreme Leader, Onion Dumadi Nandakano, who is a prisoner of conscience, I greet every one of you. Uh, be a friend all over the world, you are in my voice, um, uh, Mother Clement Eze. Uh, my brother, you see, um, uh, we will recognize those that have been supporting our movement from diaspora and all over the world, and even our, our, our brothers who are sick in the hospital, those are in the prisons, those, are, those, uh, those that are downcasted. So uh, whatever I'm trying to say is this, Mazi, I almost talk now to the Gunabogi, Kachuko Kadema Baunume, when you never do on your Banaka, you know, you hear the other do easy. Mana, for folk who come to it to Boh, and to Bohali, I will log out. Kadihi Wariki Guaymaka, one of our sister, came, Ozzy and Agar on the net. The news has been everywhere, you know, people are just dragging, you know. It's very really young lady, a young massacre in London, she knows her name or something like that. Do you know about her? So, what is happening? Because I'm not going to be here anyway. Why am I here? Because you're one of the. I do want to. I do want to. I do want to. Here we go. Oh my God. Um, Mazi. Yeah. Agam, 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 you cook by area. And Agam, you know, where you are going. Um, our brother called and he want me to comment on the news, on the update that is flying about one of our sister. And uh, for me, there are things that are not that are not relevant. And there are things that are relevant. The reason why I say that there are things that are not relevant and there are things that are relevant is because in this struggle, there are people that we are choosing to fight and there are people that, that chooses themselves. And those that chooses themselves, once there is a heat. They cannot stand it. They fizzle away. But those that we are choosing by Chukwu Kikabiam, you will see them standing tall. I am not the author of that update. I am not going to discredit that update. Neither am I going to endorse that update for reasons. The person in question is not currently in Biafra land. The person in question is already out of Biafra land and out of Nigeria. And anything that that person must have done, be it good one or bad one, believe you me, the report card is waiting for that person. Not just that person, but every other person in this struggle. So I know that everybody is waiting for Aside Hot to talk about that. But there was a time I made a program. I want you people to take note of this. There was a time I made a program. I said, if your name is among the name of those that the former secretary to our leader called Uche Nukora for want to bring to America, you should start running away. You should not embrace that journey to America or to anywhere else. I made such program. Maybe some of you have did not listen or remember it. I busted that plan from beginning 
that anybody whose name is among the people that they want to send to America should go out of that list. Thank you, Kara Gold, my dear sister. <laughs> you see, so many of us in Biafra land have been wooed into accepting one or two things to leave the struggle and run away from the country, all in the name that uh, your life is in danger, they will kill you. Are you better than those that have died? Are you better than Komandi Konso, Moshe, Chinedu, Awara? Are you better than Ukweze, Ezizre Lokukanu? If all of us run away to Godo Yibo because we are afraid to die, who is going to fight from on the ground? Who is going to educate our people and give them the information that is needed? I'm answering this question right now for those that are intelligent and smart. So people like us rejected such offer. People like us said, no, that I'm not going to give up until Mazi is free and Biafra restored. Those that accepted the visa offer and what have you, if they have committed any crime of such magnitude as it is as it, as it was written in, in the book, Mazop Elizabeth became is not going to talk about such because Mazin Namikan is coming out and many things will be revealed the more when he comes. Besides, the person you are talking about is just a small girl. If any man somewhere feel like a woman will bring him down, he is not man enough. I read that article. It came from our gallant uh, family writer press. But honestly, let's say the information there is correct. The timing when it is published is wrong, is wrong because the person you are talking about is no longer here. Let's say, I'm not telling you that what they say there about the girl is 100% truth or false. But let's say she is at the safe place. If it is a deal, according to the writer, it is already done. If it is a damage, it is already done. So what would you expect me to be talking about it? I said things that is about to happen when I see them. Whatever I see that is about to happen to destroy the movement, I see it early and I, I started early, I will shout. I'm not discrediting the, the writer, neither am I defending the person whose name is in that write-up. But what I'm saying is this. Let us know that what we are doing is a struggle. As they share that program right now, that uh, update right now about the girl, what did he change? If the person that wrote this thing had put up this kind of write-up seven months, eight months ago, I will talk. I will say what I know. And you all know that I don't say things to please anybody. You all know me for that. Because myself, there were certain people that have written a whole lot of lies against me in this struggle. So many lies. So many, so many lies. Unprintable things were said about me in this struggle. And some people bought it. Why some people did not buy it? And all the things they wrote about me then, there was no verifiable evidences or backup. But finally, finally, I'm vindicated. And those things were written at the, at the, at the point, at the time I was hitting on the 
people that want to destroy the struggle. So if this person that put on this right up, hide it from us, knowing fully well that this person is doing this, doing that, and is affecting the struggle, and the person did not write it that time, and now they're putting, they're putting it in writing. I will not be party to talk about it now. Because the deed is already done. The damage, if it is indeed what they put there is correct, it's already done. That is why I told one of our brothers that called me on my platform last time that I am not at the gate. I am not a gatekeeper. I am not. I am inside the town looking for anybody that is about to destroy the family from the inside. Because you have to protect your house from the inside before you go outside to the gates. You are at the gates waiting the enemies not to come in. But me, I am inside looking for enemies from the within that want to destroy the movement. That is why I'm different. I'm going to be found with our tapali. If people understand what I'm saying, put it in writing. <laughs> I want to see people write. I want to read it on that top. If what I said here makes sense, if you have understood my analysis here, please let me know because I want to read. I can go to Mamma and then Nabo Pana, on an egg pante. I can say, Nakuaka, again. 99.9% of our media warriors, we are saying we are gatekeeper, we are gatekeeper. You are, you are the gate now. Yes, you are keeping the gate, you know, from the uh, waging the enemies not to enter. But me, I dare inside. As you are keeping the gate, I'm watching you. You that is keeping the gate. <laughs> that is why every time I remember the one you call, uh, the one you call, uh, what is his name again? I will, I will, if you see where I'm rolling on the floor, laughing. Whenever I remember his case, I'll be laughing. The gate man, the gatekeeper himself. I will laugh, laugh, laugh. My, my stomach will be, will, be, will be tumbling. Because this is a man that claimed to be a gate man, a gatekeeper. You are a gatekeeper and the, the gate you are keeping fell on top of you. Today, where is him? And where is the gate he was keeping? Me, as they are, as they are the gate keeping the gate, watching for the enemy not to come is me i'm inside watching them <laughs> that any one of them that will turn to the enemy eh, that is why i'm different so my dear brother that just called now i refuse to comment on that but i believe everything i have said here you must have understand my stand because if this is a dangerous person as it was put in writing and the person wanted to destroy the struggle. You left the person. After destroying the struggle, then you come and write. To me, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means that you allow the person to finish his job or her job before you begin to talk about them. That is why anybody I made mention of their name on this platform and tell you people, Nekwa Noenya, Nekwa Noenya, my line is still open. I want to answer only but more one person. Okay, no, 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 so when I noticed, when I found out, when I had the, the, the information about that particular going to America visa, wanting people to go to, to, to go to America, I contacted some of the people whose name appear in that list. I contacted the, some of them. I called them one after the other. I say, I hear say uh, your name there among the people that which you know want to bring to America. I hear say, as I was mentioning, as I was talking to them, some of them is ah, Mazi. How did you know? How did you know? Hi, my wow, I fear you. Who give you this information? How did you get to know this? They tell me, make I go find passport. Make I go do passport. Uh, make I do the... Even our sister, Mada Achalugo, was contacted. Achalugo said, no, I'm not going anywhere. 
<laughs> I shall look and say, look at the people now, this is they go. <laughs> I have another call on the line. <laughs> this caller, your, your call just dropped as I just answered you. Your call dropped. Please call me again, please. I really want to talk to this caller. I think you're calling from US or Canada. Welcome to the program, I see the hot. Yes, ma, I see. Good evening from here. Hey! Who, who am I, so? <laughs> No, 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 you have to call back again. Drop <laughs> drop and call back. I want to connect you to you to I want to connect you to, to this thing to my device so that your voice will come out okay. louder. Hey where you do call for. So finally, finally you come back. Okay. Now. Note. Mazi, you, you have to wait. Let me connect this. I have not connected yet. I have not connected yet. I think I've connected now. Okay. Hello. Uh, uh, what is happening? Hello, Mazi. I, I can't hear you. What is happening? Can you hear me? I hear, I'm hearing you. I hear you loud and clear, my brother. Wait, let me call you. Let me do the calling. Because I haven't connected yet. Let me do the calling. Hey, wait, Mazi, you look careful. Long time in my river. Oh, my goodness me. I'll call you. Let me call him back. I think you should be fine now. Hello, Mazi, you look careful. Yes, Mazi. Yes, your voice is loud yes. and clear. Yes, are you hearing me loud and clear? Yes, the world is listening to you, my brother. Go ahead. Uh, uh huh. Good evening from here, my brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Good evening, dear friends. Good morning, good night, wherever time zone are they. Uh, my name is Judo Kafo. Judo Kafo, now from Akbo. Akbo Day for Eastside and Nioma. And uh, all the way from Igbuakiri. For record purpose, Igbuakiri people are Ika people. We are one in one family. If you go to Igbuakri today, which is present day in a do state, they speak Ika language. We are one people. Ika is a large family, and we are Ika Igbo. We are not from Benin. We are not from Yoruba. We are 100% Igbo. And that is why when you go to Ika land, we have Odinani and Omenani. Go and read the history of the Ika people. Before the coming of the white man and the zoo called Nigeria, we were ruled by a lot by a, a rule called Eri. Uri. Eri ruled all the way, all of Ika land. We were being we were ruled by one law. Go and read the history. All the way from Ibuakiri to all to the end of Igbo land, we were ruled by Iri Kingdom. Go and read history. So anybody saying and the other people is from Benin, that person should check himself to the nearest psychiatric hospital. Because we are here to set the record straight that we are not from Benin. We are not Igodo, Mikodo. We are Ika, ah, Igbo. And that is who we are. We are 100% Igbo. And that is why our land is called Anioma. It's an Igbo word. Mazi, yes. it's been a long time. You of never course. hear from me. Yes. Because of work. I but I listen to you every time, but I cannot talk when I'm working. <laughs> I always follow your program. That's beautiful. When I go home, I will replay your program again. That's because beautiful. I keep following you because you are one of the truthful men in this freedom fighting. Well, in this time that we are fighting for our freedom. 
How many people name I go mention that have come? They will talk and the next thing they'll be speaking with two sides of their mouth. But the ones that call themselves the gatekeeper and the keeping of the gate. We shall call them they call themselves. I have looked at them. I used to call their program, but at the time I stopped because I begin to see where they are going. But today, they have changed. And today they are attacking DOS and Chicken. Okay. That is why people, when they follow, follow at the end, they will be disappointed. Stay in one place. Look onto that place that you believe. And that is why today I begin to tell people to focus on IPOB leadership. They are doing the right thing. You they listen to story. You they listen to hear. You they go here and there. Stay one place and believe in the leadership. That is the problem today. That is why when everybody begins to come to the capo. A connect me to the couple. Women call me, men call me. I refuse to associate with them because I put my eyes on one place. When I look and focus on GOS, I follow them to the end because that is what our leader said. On my behalf, GOS, those they are in charge. That is why when people call me, I want to work with you to the couple. I said that. Me or go and look for somebody else. I stand with IPOB, Gadaba. No shaking. And that is why yesterday, when Chico Dezio spoke on Radio Biafra, I was the happiest man on earth. Because everything that Chico Dezio talk about out and stand for is for the restoration of the kingdom of God, which is Biafra. And that is what IPOB stands for. Any other name is garbage and deceiving. Today we are all seeing what is going on. Somebody is now a prime minister of Biafra. <laughs> prime minister. Our leader now, the colonel, have never won the come to say, I am the prime minister of Biafra. They vote for me. Government in exile. Our leader said, there will be nothing like the government in exile. You cannot be ruled from end. Man, are you, are you still there? Your network. Mas, are you there? I have the right. I'm here, Mazi. Continue. It's go a ahead. It's network issue. Yes, go ahead. Go Our ahead. leader have the right to call himself Prime Minister. But our leader is a Republican. Our leader know the consequence when he said, Ayman the Colonel is the Prime Minister of the Afra. And that is why our leader will start and say, my name is Ayman the Colonel. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. And he will tell us where he comes from. He will tell us his father's name and his family's name. But a prime minister, we don't know where he come from. <laughs> a man that imposed himself as the prime minister of Biafra. We don't know his father, we don't know his mother, we don't know his community, we don't know his village. What a shame. And people are still following. People are still following, contributing money every day, fundraising for ESM. And up to now, people never get sent. It's a pity for Una. It's a pity for Una. Where is he blind? They follow the blind man. The blind can only lead you people to the doom. Mazi Chief BK, you are a very good man. That is why I continue to follow you. I continue to listen to you. I continue to follow your word. Because I have never seen you shima or wavering. You stand in truth and in justice. You are one of them that our ancestors will only tell us in the calendar. It's your kubundo. 
That's my mantra. That is why today everything you come to talk in your show is the truth and nothing but the truth. Some people may like to blackmail you or accuse you, but at the end of the day, you see why you they talk, like you waiting for the app to crow crow eyes. You, you come out to talk about Madame Nendaya. Anybody you come out on your program to talk about is the truth. You only say the way it is, and that is why you call your program. I, I see the house now, so you they talk up. And that's yes. where we, we, we they follow you, they talk up. Yes. Always on the way, on the path of truth and justice. That is why I keep listening to you. Because you are as white as snow. You are a man that always tries and stands for the truth. You walk according to your name. Chukubuike, nothing will happen to you, my brother. Keep on keeping up, keep on standing for the truth and righteousness. And you will live long to see Biafra. Yes, sir. For your labor will never be in vain. Yes, sir. For all of us, we live to see the Afra in our time. Yes, sir. And our enemies will be put to shame. Yes, sir. Mazi, I will stand by and let other people call. If you want me to come back, I will come back and finish. Actually, if I you want to bless you. You say thank you. I want you to say your yes. um, whatever you want to say right now because after you, I'm going to drop the call. I have. Um, spend almost two hours on this platform right now two hours plus so you are going to be the last caller waiting okay waiting i want to stay and so advise some of our brothers and sisters uncle auntie that has been led astray that have listened to lies that have listened to lies and rumors so our leader the OS showed our leader. It's a blanket lie. From the pit of hell. It's a big lie. From, from the pit of hell. The people that showed my husband and the canoe are the people that are today calling themselves Prime Minister. Because this is what they wanted from the one. To put their face for the Afro pants. <laughs> to make Biafra their own property. Today, they are now Prime Minister of Biafra. Because of heaviness. They stood our leader. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall that Samuel Ekpa and Madam Okwebu and all of them one day in America could try to send Marzina and the Kano. Today, every day, fundraising of ESM. The next day, they are doing a uh, government in the SI. As you ever see six, so don't you, children, someone who hide you, do it. Take power upon yourself to so say now that our leader is not available. We are not the chief operator. We are not the prime minister, though. But do care the ones that accuse our leadership. They are the ones today that are prime minister. They are the governor general. They are ready for. They are first make you not shine in our eyes, though. DOS has not done what he has put our leader. These people today now will be prime minister. When they are from as a whole, not the vote. Every day for raising. Every day expose. Make to the eye up, we said that this people now sell our leader because this is what they wanted from day one to use the answer to make and reach yourself to cause struggle in our Biafra struggle. But the DOS arrives to the glory of Tukosika Biama all these days. DOS, they be like sheep. Well, you know why sheep they look situation they will chew their mouth, yum, 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 yum. They are looking at the situation and they are laughing. And they are set a trap. And they pay the money, people fall in the trap. Don't you see that DOS has wise? 
Don't you see that DOS are wise? Glory be to Chuko Kikabia Ama. That even the blood man can see, the blood man can see now that the, these people have a hidden agenda. They are the ones that are keeping our leader. They are the ones that are causing men in Biafra land that our leader will not be released from BSS dungeon. But Chuko Abiyama passed them. Our leader must come out in good health and life to talk with his mouth, to tell us what transpired them. During his adoption and everything, because our leader is a child of Chukwo Kika Abiyama. God is revealing things to our leader, even where he is now in the dungeon. Our leader is saying things. But when our leader comes out, he will tell us. Because our leader will always say, that anybody you oh Zindi Dundo, we are waiting. Mazi are you Zindu? Are you not telling him to tell? Kikwa ipe chikwa bi amagwaragi, because we are loyal to you, Mazi Nandi Kano. Mazi, this is where I have to stop. The chikwa bi ama bless you. Thank you. Continue to strengthen you. Thank you. Continue to empower you. See. For all of us, we live long to see the Afra. See. Including the gate keepers, yes. so that we will tell them and play back all their videos. <laughs> because when you think, when you go to social uh, social media, you open Facebook, you run your mouth, you talk here, talk left and right, talk with both sides of your mouth, attack the OS, attack leadership. We are recording you people. Keep on doing what you are doing. We will play the music that you played by yourself, and you will dance that song when time comes. You will not say uh, uh, that, that somebody make a fake video. It's got it. No way. We are recording everybody. And we will play that ass song for you people at the right time. Continue. If you are doing the right thing, continue. If you are doing the wrong thing, continue. We are recording you right from the world. And we will play it when the time comes. Don't deny. Don't say it's a lie. Don't say it's a distorted. Don't say it's fake, because video recording is not a fake anything. Whatever video capture, now they capture, and that's reality. Maazi, carry on, but Chukwu Abiyama bless, bless you, for we live long to see Biafra in our time. See. In the name of Chukwu Kike Abiyama, that's name I pray. You say, you say, you say, you say thank you, you say, very much. You say, thank, thank you, Maazi. Thank you, Maazi, you do capture. And on this note, I want to bring this program to an end. I be a brother, Mazo, and as a chuku, you can go be a friend, Kembona, and Kembona, and I be a friend, as a wee friend, when you meet the Malaysia Kakazo, Mazo, so I did my GG friend, you be Malaysia Mukakazi, when you mean. When I used to tell you people that my name is Ibe Malaysia Kakazo, you guys does not understand. But finally, now you know, and we must continue. Mazen Nam the Kano is coming out very soon to meet or to continue from where he stopped because we must restore the effort for our children and our children's children. Thank you very much, all the callers, all the sharers, and those that commented. May Chukwu Kabia bless each and every one of you. I remain your brother, one and the only, as he the hot, now so are the talker. Thank you. God bless you. Kachifoni.